Hi everybody, Mayor Dan Tolan here. Time for another weekly update. First, I'd like to address all of our citizens in River Falls and our business owners. I would like you all to realize that the majority of the City Council and me as your mayor support you. We do all that we can to help in these unprecedented times. We realize that all you want to do is what's best for the safety and the continuation of your business. Plus, you want the best for the safety of everyone else in town too. As a business owner myself, I know how challenging these times are, and I guarantee you that we realize how important all of your businesses are to the overall health and financial stability of our town. I know that as citizens in River Falls, we all share the same hope for our city to be safe, friendly, healthy, and as prosperous as possible. No matter what you read online, I encourage everyone to be kind and respectful to each other at all times. Even if we don't agree with what we read or that person's thoughts or opinions, we as a city should strive to be better than that. Thanks for listening. Now as usual, I'd like to catch you up on some COVID-19 case numbers. You can see in slide one, it shows what is happening in Pierce County. Currently there are 21 active cases, a decrease of six from last week. You can see that total cases are now at 153 and that the county's activity level is high. In slide two, you will see that St. Croix County has 144 active cases, an increase of nine from last week for a total of 407 cases. Their activity level is also high. On slide three, you will see that there are nearly 9,875 active cases in the state, with a total of 893 deaths statewide. On slide four, I want to share some of our local and regional criteria for moving to the next phase of our recovery plan. The last figure represents the percentage of beds available to treat COVID patients in the 15 county region of Northwest Wisconsin. You can see that this percentage has increased, which means since last week, more beds are available. You may have heard or read in the news that testing has slowed throughout the country and results are coming later than they were a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, there's no way around that, but it is not the local provider's fault. The reason is that national testing labs are overwhelmed by the increase in testing everywhere. I want you to know that our regional health departments are working to develop additional lab contracts to try to diversify the resources available to our community. Also tonight, the City Council meets to consider a resolution recommending the use of face coverings in public. Residents can offer comments during the public comment period, which is near the top of the agenda. I want you to know that I will be limiting comments to one minute per person and I may end the comment period entirely if the comments get too repetitive or too rude. There are three ways you can submit your comments. Click the link on your screen for all the details. My preferred method for making comments is that you submit them to council members prior to the meeting. You may also comment virtually. If you want to do that, please contact the city clerk by 4 p.m. today to make sure you get on the list. Finally, you may make your comments in person at City Hall. Doors will open at 6.15. There is a 10-person limit in the council chambers. Obviously, this will not be enough for everyone, so citizens will have to be okay with waiting outside until they are called. Please remember that you are required to wear a mask in City Hall. I am confident that participants will behave in a civil matter during the public comment period, or I will have to be forced to shut it down. We all want to do what's best for our community, so let's keep that in mind when sharing our comments tonight. Tomorrow, I will share the results of tonight's meeting and share our plan for moving forward with the Council's decisions. Yesterday, staff released the first edition of the City's new online newsletter called eSource. Many of you may have received it in your inbox. If not, you may sign up to be added to our list by visiting the webpage below. Included in that link is a very important community survey that I hope you all take the time and do. A link to the survey is also provided at the page on your screen. The results will help us to understand how you are dealing with the pandemic and how we can help. Please take five minutes to fill out the survey. Finally, I want to remind everybody that in-person voting began yesterday at City Hall and runs through next Friday, August 7th. If you haven't yet requested your ballot for the August 11th partisan primary election, you can do so by going to at myvote.wi.gov. Voting by mail is still the best way to ensure your safety and that of our poll workers on Election Day. So that's it for this week, and I will talk to you tomorrow about what we decide tonight. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to call and share them with me or email me at dtoland at rfcity.org. Thank you and stay safe.